Warning. Prior to starting any procedure, ensure that the weapon is unloaded and all ammunition is removed from your workspace. Begin by pushing in the takedown pin and pivot pin and separate the upper from the lower receiver. Using a finger or a small tool, depress the buffer detent pin and slowly extract the buffer and spring. Using a large flat tip screwdriver, slowly unscrew the top screw from the butt pad assembly. Once fully loosened, you can remove the fixed stock off of the standard buffer tube. Using a 5 8 inch opened end wrench, slowly loosen the buffer tube off of the lower receiver. Slowly unscrew the buffer tube, ensuring that you do not release the buffer detent spring located in the lower receiver. To prevent loss of this pin, place your finger over top of the pin holding it captive as you slowly unscrew the buffer tube. Once it's removed, you can ease that pin and spring out of its location. Screw the castle nut assembly onto the T6 buffer tube, ensuring that the teeth are faced towards the rear of the weapon. Tighten that till the end of the threads. Place the lock plate onto the buffer tube, ensuring that the protrusion side of the lock plate faces towards the receiver. As you slide that onto the buffer tube, you notice the small tooth protruding into the center of the ring will index onto a recess on the buffer tube. Begin screwing the buffer tube onto the lower receiver. As you're screwing the buffer tube into place, depress the buffer detent spring and pin, allowing the buffer tube to pass over top of it, keeping it captive. Once it's captive, align the buffer tube so that the lock plate is properly aligned towards the rear of the receiver. Move the locking plate forward, ensuring that the takedown spring is held captive into the lower receiver. Hand tighten the castle nut so that it is snug up against the lock plate holding everything into place. Use the included spanner wrench to fully tighten the castle nut against the lock plate. Install the carbine buffer and buffer spring assembly into the buffer tube. Do not use the original standard length buffer and buffer spring. Extend the locking lever on the T6 stock body and slide it onto the buffer tube. Ensure your stock slides to all six positions. Place the upper receiver onto the lower receiver and replace the takedown pins. Installation on your TAPCO T6 stock is complete.